Okay, so this is a quick one about potential difference in series circuits. So this is a series circuit, it's a simple loop. The components just come one after each other. Um, now, to think about the potential difference in a series circuit, you just need to remember what, what, what the current does in that circuit. So the current's made up of electrons, and the electrons flow around the circuit. Uh, you can imagine them gaining energy when they go through the cells and then giving up that energy to the components in the circuit. So in this case, electrical energy in the cells is going to be transferred to light and heat at the bulbs. Now, uh, potential difference is all about energy transfer. Potential difference the potential difference across a point in the circuit tells you how much energy is transferred to or from a coulomb of charge between those two points. Um, now a coulomb of charge isn't the same as one electron as I've said before um, a coulomb of charge is actually a whole load of electrons millions of them. Um, so we'll imagine a coulomb of charge flowing around this circuit. Now as the coulomb of charge goes through the cells. The potential difference across those cells in total is 4 volts. So this coulomb of charge is going to get 4 joules of energy and it has to give that energy up as it goes around the circuit. Now if each of these two bulbs are identical then it's going to give up an equal amount of energy to each of the two bulbs. So if the potential difference across the first bulb measured with this voltmeter V1 is 2 volts, the second one is also going to be 2 volts and you'll notice that this adds up to the potential difference across the supply. This is because the energy from the supply is being divided up between the two bulbs. So the potential difference across the two components adds up to the potential difference of the supply. Now, we could replace this circuit with a slightly different circuit which doesn't contain two identical components. So this circuit contains a bulb and a motor which are completely different from each other. Now, as the charge flows around this series circuit, picks up energy at the cells and shares that energy out between the components. Now, it turns out in this example that the potential difference across the bulb is only one volt. That means of the four joules of energy this coulomb of charge picks up at the cells, only one joule of energy goes to the bulb. Therefore, how many, how many joules of energy go to the motor? It must be three joules. What's the potential difference across the motor? It must be 3 volts. So in a series circuit energy is divided, energy is shared between the components in that series circuit therefore the potential difference of the supply is shared out between the components in that series circuit but the potential difference across all the components in series adds up to the potential difference of the supply. That's because the energy shared between all the components in series has to add up to the energy given out by the supply.